Cool. Okay, I got a recording to the cloud. I'm gonna go ahead and mute all. Aaron, you should be unmuted. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Awesome. Great. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in the call. Uh, tonight, Mike Huey is uh, at a mastermind in Las Vegas with Lisa, and they're going through the Thrive Mastermind with Cole Hatter. And uh, tonight, I'm the host with the most. And he's asked me to take over the, the call tonight so we could have one this week so he didn't have to miss it. And I was gonna put uh, together some special training, but I decided that we haven't heard from a Life Vantage uh, member in quite a while and talk about the products and talk about some of the stories that we have. And I decided tonight that would be a good night to do that. And um, I have a very special guest on the, on the call tonight. He's uh, from Michigan. He's a pro three in life finish. He's been in life finish now for almost five years. He, I met Aaron at, in, in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, he actually kind of connected with Jason Peasley, Dr. Peasley. And this is why events are so important. He was actually running a program at the time called uh, Protano for Vets, wasn't it? Yes. Yep. And then we had to, uh, he had to change the name and he ended up changing it to Nerf 2 for, uh, for veterans. And he was running a charity event and some of us, you know, would bring in bottles of Protandum or Axio or donate money. And he had these shirts and I still actually have one of those shirts and still wear that. So, um, but it's very important that we, we go to these events so we can meet people like Aaron and hear these types of stories. So tonight I invited him on the call and I want him to go ahead and dive into you know, a little bit about how you found Life Vantage and what Life Vantage has done for you and then where are you taking it now with this uh, Nerf 2 for Veterans program. So the floor is all yours, my man. All right, thanks, Chris. And everyone, thanks for your time. Thanks for giving me this opportunity to talk to you guys. Um, uh, let's see, I, I, everything is kind of intermingled. So I, I, I have to start somewhere. So I'm gonna start in 1998. Um, uh, well, first, I'll, t I'll tell you about, about myself. Um, we're Pro3 uh, in Life Vantage. Uh, my wife is an accountant. She is finishing her last semester of college this semester. Um, she's in her 30s. I'm in my 40s. Uh, we have no kids, and we're happy, fun, good people. Um, all right, that, that's over with. Uh, my, my experience with Protandum, Nerf 2 specifically, has, has been nothing short of miraculous. Um, in, uh, in 1998, I, I was in a car accident, um, and I, I flatlined. I flatlined half a dozen times. Uh, I took in a ton of uh, plasma. I broke my, my neck and my back, um, all my left ribs. A couple of them went into my lung, uh, messed up all my organs, uh, my liver and my spleen and uh, broke my arm, clavicle, shoulder. Basically, my, my left side of my torso was just completely destroyed. And um, I, uh, sorry, I, I, I oh yeah, there, <laughs> there was also a traumatic brain injury. I didn't, I didn't plan that pause, that, that, was, that, was, uh, that was real. Um, so I, I do trail off sometimes, I apologize about that. Uh, and, I, and then, all those those injuries happened. Um, I was uh, in a coma for a month, so that was that was devastating. Um, it, it took a, a young, healthy, twenty-one-year-old um, person to uh, a year of hardcore recovery and uh, having having to wear a, a turtle shell because my my torso was so broken, I couldn't support the weight of myself um, with myself. Um, Rehabs, rehabs were inpatient and outpatient um, for months. Uh, those were difficult. My, um, my, my radial nerve, my medial, median, the main nerve in my arm, uh, since my, my arm broke right in the half at the humerus, right at the halfway point, um, they put a titanium rod in my arm uh, because they thought a cast would offset the healing of all my broken ribs on that side. Um, so, uh, sorry to go back, busting that nerve, um, breaking that nerve or damaging that nerve made my arm, uh, revert to a, a, a velociraptor, um, hand against my chest. It was just stuck there. Um, and the rehab just to get the use of my left hand again was a, a mountain, a mountain and a half. Um, so 
I, I've, I'm finishing up my, my last amount of rehab and my, my, my doctor actually said these words to me. We have this new drug that's coming out that is going to be great for people like you uh, with chronic pain. Um, and uh, it's called Oxycontin. And you'll be able to just take one or two pills a day and it'll last all day. Well, he was right about that. Um, and that was, that was 25, 26, seven years ago. And that's pretty much when the opiate epidemic started. Um, because remembering the words that he said and then watching documentaries, um, trying to expose Purdue Pharma or some, you know, some other big pharmaceutical company, um, those are the words that the doctor commercials to other doctors um, saying, yeah, narcotic use for long term is, is not not everyone will become addicted. It's not as worrisome as you should be. It's, it's not that big a deal. Um, I remember my doctor saying those words to me. Um, so the fast forward 15 years of really heavy um, drug use, uh, you, know, uh, you know, medication, prescription drug use, the um, Oxycontin was, at one point it was um, 380 milligram pills a day, along with Percocet, Valium, and Xanax and then whatever antidepressant, because of course I was depressed. Um, I was depressed all the time. Um, a, a few of you know, I, I, I did get suicidal, um, really thinking about things from what I thought was a logical place, um, escaping my physical pain, my emotional and mental pain. Um, I wouldn't have to be a burden to my wife and my loved ones, and I wouldn't have to feel pity um, I just, just a whole slew of reasons. Um, and it was, it was bad. It was really bad. And, uh, someone told me to watch a video and it was, it was just watch a video. And, uh, it was the, the John, John Pinon is 2020. Um, it's like 15 minutes. And from that point on, I found someone in Midland and became, and became a distributor. Um, I, I, was, I, was sold, I was sold five minutes into the, into the video. Um, it makes so much sense. And the science is so sound. Um, and the fact that Dr. McCord has won the Elliott Crescent Medal is is it's the biggest thing since sliced bread. I know. I just couldn't think of anything else to analogy it to. Um, okay. So yeah, Nerf two came around right at the right time for me. Um, two weeks after I started taking it, I could feel that the inflammation was lessening in my back and neck. Um, after a month, with that pain almost nearly taken care of, um, that was 90% of my pain. Um, I do have musculoskeletal damage and I, I have bone pain and nerve pain, um, but the inflammation, and, and honestly, inflammation hurts you throughout your body, whether it's in your brain or when your organs or your skin, or uh, inflammation is, is a result of in injury. So it's, it's to be taken seriously. Being able to, to lower our inflammation, um, the thing about proteins, they're on or off. That's that's the great thing. I, that's why I love the biohacking reference because it it is we are we're talking antioxidants version 2.0. You you heard it here first. Let's hashtag that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked again. Um, so I was talking to my upline um, once I became a distributor. I was talking to my upline. How do I reach people? Um, what would be a, what would be a good um, I got to reverse a little bit I'm sorry guys I guess it was important to mention my wife Kate was in Okinawa she was she's she was in the Marine Corps as was my dad not not this there's no connection just my dad was Marine too but Kate was Kate was on Camp Hansen in Okinawa when the accident happened the accident happened in Orlando um, so 
um, she had to f circumnavigate, fly 17 hours on an airplane, you know, not knowing if I was, uh, you know, alive, alive or dead or, or in a vegetative state. She, she had no idea and they couldn't tell her. Um, so talking to my upline, I said, where would be a good place to meet people? Um, and she said, you know, follow your passion, you know, go, go where it's needed. Um, and, uh, that, that along with uh, an afternoon epiphany of when, uh, when I'm a pro 10, because pro 10 was as high as we could go back then. When I'm a pro 10, what am I going to get up for in the morning? And what is going to be my cause? What's going to be my mark? What am, how am I going to help? And um, it was veterans. I, you know, I, 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 there was nothing else in my brain. Um, and there was no other, I mean, I know, uh, you know, uh, children's hospital and there's, there's other great charities and there's other great causes, but I could think of no other. Um, and this is about the time when the 22 a day, um, hashtag started trending, um, with 22 suicide veteran suicides a day. Um, we, uh, we had a lot of work to do because, uh, the, the, the time when a veteran is most likely to commit suicide is when um, they're in their 50s. And Operation Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom both happened about the time where young men who just got out of high school served and they're in their 50s now. Um, a lot of times these guys come back and they don't just come home and, and commit suicide. Um, their, their families fall apart and they're... Uh, you know, drugs and alcohol keep the, the demons at bay, so to speak. Um, their children hear and see things they should never hear, and their, their spouses, you know, the, the fights and the, you know, so their lives fall to pieces. Um, so they go to the VA for help, and the VA sends them home with a, a grocery bag full of, of really strong medications. Um, so, so anyway, yes, I, the only thing I could think to do to spend my time when I was a pro and I didn't have to worry about money anymore, that was, I, I'm going to help our veterans. Um, and that also happened around the time when Axio came out and I started drinking eight to 10 Axio a day. Uh, no hyperbole. I drank boxes, bags back then and still boxes today. Um, of Axio because of what it did for my um, cognitive abilities. I, I, was, I, was a, I was so different. I was such a different person um, five years ago. I was so damaged. Um, it's, it's just bananas. Um, and, and the amount of repair that was, was able to be done by a silly little supplement and a silly little drink. Um, not silly when you understand proteins. It's simple. Um, and it's, it's beautiful. I'm drinking Axio right now. So I thought, well, shoot. Axio and Nerf 2. I also, I also took two to three Nerf 2 a day. Um, that might have been overkill. Um, but the placebo effect, along with it, actually did work. It actually, you, did it actually. Um, every veteran I've ever started the products on the, the first month or two, they take two Nerf two a day. Um, no, I'm not a doctor. You know, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Blah blah blah. I'm just saying, um, and as much Axio as they would drink, um, because it, Axio is the key. I know Protanum Nerf 2 has got that synergy and it scientifically it has to be doing more, but whatever the Nerf 2 activators are that are in Axio that target your brain, it's, it's beautiful juice. <laughs> it's nectar of the gods, ambrosia. I love this stuff. Um, I love this stuff so much I saved every single grapefruit wrapper I've ever drinking. I cut the ends off. I melted them together, and I've rolled them into 300 feet of something. I got to figure out what to do with it. Maybe weave it together and make a hammock. 
Um, okay. Chris, I'm ready for some questions. I'm obviously getting sidetracked. No, you're doing, you're doing an amazing job. I didn't want to really interrupt you there because uh, I, I, I love listening to your story and a lot of people have not heard your story. And uh, I, want to, I want to talk about this a little bit. Maybe we can dive into this because this is, uh, this is going to be a big thing for you. And we're probably going to hear this in the future with Life Vantage is, uh, you know, this, this, this flyer that you, you gave me when we were in Orlando. And I happened to, you know, was looking through the flyer and I was looking through some stuff. And, you know, it talks about how uh, the, the veterans will go through excessive exercise, the battlefield trauma, the prolonged de deployment, and the emotional stress, poor sleep, extended sun exposure and chemical exposure. Why don't you talk about, um, you know, the big breakthrough that you had with uh, compliance and uh, with Dr. Fifi and all of this with the, with the uh, Nerf 2 veterans pamphlet and how you're uh, ready to move forward with this and, and like what's the next step? Yes, cool. It, yeah, definitely. The, the brochure, um, the, the brochure is kind of like a, it's got two, it's got two purposes. Um, of course, the first is to get this out into, uh, yeah, this took a year. This took a year to, to get approved. Um, and it took nine months of straight up. This is very difficult for someone with a head injury um, to put together and uh, do it all by myself. Um, I, know, I don't mean to sound like a big kid. I did it all by myself. I seriously, I did. I did it all by myself. So it's, it's, um, it's special because I, I, I stressed and, you know, thought about and, you know, really went into, I delved into every sentence and every, every part of it. Um, I had to. So, uh, yeah, this, this adds legitimacy to what I'm trying to do. Um, this is something that everybody can print out on their computer. So it's, I, I'm able to, it's free forever. I mean, it's, it's out there. Um, and uh, yeah, I've even been asked if, if someone, someone asked me if they could have the original um, program file so they could take out some of the words and make it for people with PTSD, um, women who sustained sexual assault um, because she liked it so much. I was like was flattered, but I was like, no, you got to go through compliance. That's, that's not, that's kind of hinky. Um, but I appreciate it, but you know, but thanks. No, I, I really delved into it. That's sorry. Um, but yeah, this is going to, this is going to help veterans who's, who suffer the same way I do. Um, the, the same, I guess I should back up. I, I guess, we're all trying to, to make our dad proud or whatever, you know, that, that whole adage with, with men. Um, but uh, my, my dad suffers from a pseudobulbar affect. Um, it's, it's an emotional disorder. It comes from PTSD. It, it could have come from um, his exposure to Agent Orange in Vietnam. I, it, there's a lot of places it can come from, just from the military. Um, and uh, yeah, Growing up with that was crazy difficult, um, and so I, I have a firsthand um, understanding of the the uh, the difficulty the difficulty um, that the families have, and this can help everybody. This can help. Uh, a veteran, this is the second reason, this life vantage is something a veteran can do. You know, a veteran can charge themselves up and do a meeting and then maybe be stressed out, but it's, it's much preferable to going to a nine to five job and being surrounded by people and loud sounds. Um, yeah, once, once you, you touched on it a little bit, um, the things that our, our, our men and women go through, it, if, you, if you're living on a forward operating base and you're eating MREs, those ready to eat meals, which I'm sure are not good for you. They're tasty. Oh, right? <laughs> the sun, um, your adrenal system going into overtime because you, you're hearing about your body's dying. You're having to take lives. You know, no matter how justified or how much you're trained, 
that still takes a toll on a person. You know, how can it not? Um, even if you're protecting your country, you're protecting your buddies. Taking lives is no small deal. Um, the scars that these guys come back with, um, it's, it's really heartbreaking. So I, I really, I, I think we, we need to, um, I, I'm working on getting a, a veteran discount with LifeVantage. Um, I'm in the talks of getting my t-shirts printed out um, as well as printing out like 5,000 professional copies of the Nerf 2 Veterans uh, brochure to, to give out at Indy. So wow. that's what's going that's on in the works. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's really awesome because I, I, was, uh, I was really happy for you because I know how hard you've been working on this and I know how tough compliance can be. <laughs> and how many hoops you had to jump through in order to get this right and worded right and everything correct. And I just think you're doing, you're doing a phenomenal job. Um, one of the questions we had come in through the chat was where can they find uh, a way to print this file? Where, where's the file? So the, if they the, want to print it out on their computer. The, the file is on the LifeVantage official page. Okay. Um, if, if you're on a computer, it'll be on your, on the left column. And if you're on an iPhone or phone um, I think you just slide over where it says posts pictures um, slide it over until it says files um, and then download it and uh, and print it out please and thank you awesome right. well I I, uh, I I don't want to speak for everybody but I, I kind of will a little bit but we just um, love your story man we really I super respect you coming on and doing this I know that I ended up contacting you a little bit later in the day today and you were all about it and I I can't tell you how much I appreciate that because um, I, people need to hear these things people people really need to realize that what we have is really life-changing it's not just another one of those one of those things out there and you know to hear your story and hear what you're doing and how you're helping and in the size of the heart that you have to really go out there and do something with this on a bigger scale is, is, is something that um, really have drawn me to you. So I really appreciate you doing this. Um, we have about five minutes on the call. If anybody want to ask, ask Aaron any questions, um, go ahead and unmute yourself and, uh, you know, ask him anything you want. Anybody? It would be funny if it was just you and me talking this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. 30 people on here. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I see the number. So, and I've seen some, some, some uh, chats come through. So there's definitely people on here. You know, Paulette even said, thank you so much for sharing your personal story. I respect you so much and your passion and determination. So, and she's, she's an amazing woman that down in Ottawa, Ohio, that, you know, kind of works with our group and, you know, her and her family got some pretty amazing uh, stories as well. And she's told them many times. And I know it's not easy for her to do that. So definitely appreciate that. Hi, Aaron. This, this is Ginny Russett. Can you hear me? I can. Hi. Okay. Hi. Um, I've spent my whole life and career working with individuals with usually neurological impairments mm -hmm. from birth, but also some with traumatic brain injury. Mm -hmm. um, have some customers who fall within this category. A lot of interest in my, my big question is, I'm sure this conversation is going to be, it's been recorded and it's gonna be posted. Is it gonna be on Mike's um, YouTube page or where, do you know? Yes, it'll be on Mike's YouTube page because I actually recorded it to his cloud. So he'll be able to go back into his, uh, into his um, Zoom office and, and get the recording. Okay, that's great because I wanna be able to refer people to it. Thank you so much. I also, I may, with your permission, even post it on a group um, that I have under, under my account. But I will write you and ask that permission. Thank you. Thank you. And we have the uh, Minnie Mouse back. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Wendy? It's Wendy. It is. <laughs> Wendy, you need a new mic. <laughs> hey, can you guys hear me? Yes, we got your cue. Hey, Aaron, I got a question for you, man. You bet. Um, how persistent should I be about this um this mat this matter to someone um 
their whole mission is um, that um, that 22, that every 22 thing you were talking about, that's all they talk about every day on their page. Mm. They talk about uh, veteran support. Um, I want to show him this. And I, I've sent him a few things, but the detrimental things he has yet to see. How persistent should I be towards him? Well, you have something that is going to save lives. I mean, it already has. So, I mean, the, the importance of what you have is, is pretty monumental. If he doesn't want to be open to it, uh, that's, you know, that's on him. Um, but your heart is pure. I mean, you're coming from it from the perfect place. You're beyond reproach. So, I mean, I mean, that's kind of what I'm picking up from you that he's that kind of person. I, I, I you're golden, man. Um, and and you want to include him into this? This is pretty cool, man. For you to that was that was kind of powerful for you to say that. Like, Kind of brought tears to my eyes, man. For you to just sense that from talking to me, and when me and you have never spoke, and I'm I'm that type of guy as well, people's person. But you know, going off from besides of the information you've given me, just you saying that. So I thank you for saying that. And um, yeah, man, I'm coming from an honest place. I you know, cause he's so passionate about it, and when I know what we have and how monumental it is. I, I just know him, he just seen one of our videos or if he was on this Zoom, he would like everything, cause this is, this is what he preaches every single day. That's all he talks about. Uh, he gets little support, but he's, you know, he's been in the military and he just talks about this all the time. And I'm like, man, dude, you just check this out for a few minutes. This could be what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, it really is. The, the Nerf 2 um, and Axio combo. Now, Nerf 1, I have not had good luck with Nerf 1 and veterans, as I have not had good luck with it myself. Um, when you've got a lot going on upstairs and you have very low barriers between all of the battles and all the things going on inside your head, um, which can happen with PTSD and brain injuries and whatnot. Um, sorry, I lost my thought. That's hilarious that I lost my thought trying to think of trying to talk about. Um, you said yes. nerf one. Yes, perfect. Thank you guys. Um, the brain, the brain injury. Um, it nerf one works so well that it, it speeds you up from within. I mean, you feel it. Your mitochondria is mitochondria are feeling energy. Um, and uh, it, it's just too much. It's just way, way too much. And that's the same thing another combat veteran, I mean, a combat veteran told me and another veteran um, in Texas. So I, I'm just, as far as I'm concerned, um, when I get my hands on veterans, when I, when I was taking donations, Kate and I sent out at least a hundred bottles and at least a hundred Axios. I mean, we sent out gobs of products to mostly uh, veterans, uh, family members of distributors. Um, and that, that we did that for about two years and it just wasn't really sustainable. Um, the house became a packing, uh, just, it was just, it was, it was a nightmare. And unless we were there to make sure the people taking it understood what they were taking and not just taking the word of somebody, then it was just like, man, we can't really trust that this is just not, I don't know, whatever. We just always want to be above board in everything we do. And uh, everyone who gets it deserves it. And, you know, we're, it's just complicated. It is too much for us to, to handle. So, um, but hopefully... Yeah. The Axio, Aaron, uh, one of the questions that Wendy asked, you already touched on the NRF one, but with the Axio, are you drinking decaf or are you drinking the regular? Uh, do you, do you, uh, decaf, uh, decaf. grapefruit, grapefruit only, um, grapefruit. before Not grapefruit, raspberry. before grapefruit came out, it was raspberry. Okay, gotcha. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, the, 
the combination of Axio and Protanum Nerve 2 is, that's what's going to change. That there's already children that are being born to parents taking Nerve 2, and that's going to, you know, in three generations, we're going to have people out there marrying other people who've been taking Nerve 2 their whole lives. Um, and the sky's the limit. Um, Never thought about that. Nerve no. 2. One of Nerf two is the molecule of the the tree of knowledge in the in the Garden of Eden, or um, <laughs> what if what if the five ingredients, the the five ingredients that are in Protandum were touched by Jesus's clothes, like when he walked on the ground and stuff. I mean, if you feel like see, that's why I can't take Nerf one because my brain already goes places when I can't ever sleep <laughs> type thing. Aaron, this is Tammy from Toronto. I was wondering, I don't know if you've tried or if you have tried, have you been able to gain, um, get the privilege of doing um, a presentation in like a veterans hospital to the veterans and, and have their family members attend? That, that is our next, that is my next step. Um, I'm moving out of the uh, veteran, the VFWs. I got uh, permission from Battle Creek, Michigan, to have access to the VFW halls in Michigan if I got through the commander or the commandant. And they are very protective of their flock or their, you know, their tribe, their people. And I understand that. I mean, that's great. Um, so a, 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 a nice kid but it's network marketing, he's just trying to sell us something, is a very hard stigma to get over with, no matter how cool the, the people are, you are to them. It's, um, so that was another, another thing that the brochure will do, is add that legitimacy. And when it looks this good, you know, it's, it's, it was important to do. Um, and this, this, this tells the story to a veteran when when you when you and I go talk to people who are just civilians, we kind of tell a story about Nerf Two and the opportunity and what's going on with the whole thing. This this is kind of like something if you could crunch everything down into for a veteran, this is what's most important. So this if if I'm a new veteran and it's my first job back from Iraq and I haven't been able to hold down a job and I'm a new distributor, and I have these brochures, this is one step that'll automatically put me in a, a place where a veteran's gonna be more comfortable. And it won't be so, you know, the anxiety of talking to people won't trigger those fight or flight responses where a panic attack and then disappear for three days uh, type of thing happens. So. Maybe you'll just have to sign up the commander as a distributor. That that's that's a thought. <laughs> well, as soon as as soon as these brochures, I'm as soon as I get the okay from uh, corporate to print these out, I I'm gonna paper, I'm gonna paper the VA here in our town with them. I can see you doing that, um, Aaron. This is Lynn. Thanks for having the call tonight. Hi, Lynn. Hello. So this, have, have these brochures been approved by uh, our compliance department now? They have. Uh, something Chris touched on a, a few minutes ago was Blue came up to me in Orlando and said, Dr. Fifi just found me to tell me, to tell you there was a mistake on the brochure. And uh, that means she was reading it. <laughs> That means she was reading it out of the, and other than her initial look over and verification. Um, I mean, she was reading it again. Um, so he wanted to make sure I knew that. It's cool. Cool. I have a question. Please. Erin, my name's Joanna, um, and I would like to a little bit more specific on how NRF2 and Axio has helped your brain injury and this is the reason um, I have a brother that's four years older than I am he's 44 now and when he was 12 
he had a shot put hit his head. Wow. And, um, so he has a very traumatic brain injury. He has a plate in his head and all that now. Um, so can you help me um, maybe understand a little bit better? Well, Give me a specific thing or two on how it's helped you and your I, brain injury in, in specific? Well, let's start, to start with, I, I believe SSRI inhibitors, like your normal uh, Prozac, Cymbalta, Welbutrin, um, antidepressant drugs, work on inflammation in the brain. Um, the, the, when you can, when you can lower inflammation anywhere in your body, that's a good thing. And what I found by drinking that much Axio and taking that much nerve too, was it lowered the inflammation in my brain too. So I had more RAM, um, I had less depression, less anxiety. Um, I used to take, I used to take, I forget the, the amounts, but large amounts of Valium and Xanax every single day, um, every single day, on top of all the other stuff I was prescribed. Um, so I, I haven't taken Xanax or Valium in years. Um, so um, as far as memory, all I can tell you is I woke up being able to think more and think more clearly and be able to crunch um, crunch ideas, kind of like you crunch how you crunch numbers, um, kind of like a new way to think. Put on top of kind of a uh, a messed up operating system, and through no fault of my own, it's not a critique. It's just you know from banging my head around too much. It was, yeah, I, I okay. You're gonna you're gonna think this is funny. Um, I woke up being able to type without looking at the keyboard. One day, I just started typing and I was amazed and I thought it was a fluke. And then I, and then I blew my wife's mind away. And it was just like, yeah, weird stuff like that. Um, being able to remember things from my childhood. Um, yeah, legitimate, you know, not only getting rid of the, the negative emotional, um, like depression and, and uh, anxiety and stuff, I, I got things back um, that I lost from the coma. I can, I can, I can absolutely say that unequivocally. Um, yeah. wow. That's, that's pretty incredible, Aaron. Joanna, yeah. I hope that helped. Yes, that is very helpful. Thank you. I appreciate that. Pleasure. Any, anybody else have anything before we wrap up the call? All right, Aaron, I just, I just want to tell you that, uh, you know, I've been seeing some of these comments come through in the chat. You know, thank you so much for sharing your story, being committed, helping others. Married to a vet. This has been, you know, really eye-opening to me. Uh, thank you, Aaron. This call has been a blessing. So tonight, we, we all thank you. You've done so much and you've touched more people than you think. And we really appreciate it. I appreciate that a lot. Um, I appreciate that a lot, buddy. Hey, no problem. So uh, once again, thank you, Aaron. Thank you for everybody for jumping on the call tonight. I, I really hope this uh, enlightened you a little bit. And, and um, maybe there's somebody out there that you've been thinking of telling somebody about the products, but you've been kind of afraid to, to do so. And then maybe after hearing Aaron's call and his testimony and, and you know, what the power that the products has done for him, maybe you'll uh, just go ahead and, and make that call because you're going to change somebody's life with these products. Every single one of us that's on this call has done at least one, one person has at least had some sort of life changing event, you know, because of these products. So we need to keep moving on and moving forward with that. So thank you again, Aaron. Appreciate Chris, it. Chris, yeah. um, there's one more thing on, on the official page. Yes. There's a, there's a before and after picture of me um, on a, on a post that was posted right after the uh, Orlando event. Okay. A picture says a million words. It's true. Um, it, anyone who is by a computer or by their phone, if you look up that picture, you will be blown away. That was 60 pounds heavier. Um, the sadness in my eyes. I was mustering. That was a smile. I was trying to smile for the camera. Um, I have big circles under my eyes. 
because I didn't sleep and I was taking, I was on so many drugs. It was, it wasn't living. It was, it was barely existing. Um, so when, when pe people say all the time, Protandum gave me my life back, it, it kept me from taking mine. That's just a true story. And it did that by giving me so much more back than I thought I'd ever get. That was the best surprise ever to get a little bit of that youth back or a little bit of some new mental uh, crunching numbers power, prowess, whatever you want to call it. Um, after not having it for so long, it's, it's been great. It's been wow, great. that's awesome. And, and where is that photo again? Um, it's on the official page. By Fanny's official distributor page? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'll just um, I'll just pull it up. There it is. Yeah, this this is. Wow. Yeah, that's a huge difference. <laughs> oh my! Wow. Oh. <clears throat> well, that's 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 it. He was he was in horrific shape um it's a horrific shape uh it, I'm, that's a supernova man yeah certainly did. <laughs> certainly did that that's incredible well, but uh, yeah i i appreciate i appreciate the time you guys gave me and uh i'm pre i liked talking i'm trying to come out of my shell i mean i know is um people think i'm outgoing and i guess i am sometimes but um, there's, I have to get over so much fear to do the basic things. Um, it's, I'm always fighting something odd. Um, yeah. but it, yeah, everything's awesome. You rock. Thanks. You do, man. That is that you, you are, you are something else. I, I enjoy your time and your company and, and, and talking to you all the time. You always have some amazing info. And um, you inspire me, man. You inspire me to keep going and helping as many people as I can. So once again, I really appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. Thank you.